Konnichiwa YouTube! Welcome back to Arcage 2.0 with your host Only One Shinobi and today we're out here in Morpheus Skateboard! Skateboard! Okay, uh, we're out here on Morpheus uh, on the farm as you can see we're doing husbandry out here. We've got goats, sheep, uh, water buffalo, bears, and yata. Uh, and we're out here today to talk about something special. Um, as you can see over here, maybe, we've got two little yata over here with pink stuff above their head. Uh, these are big-bellied female cashmere yata. And what that means is they are pregnant. Uh, they have babies inside of their bellies. Um, and to get that, it's a long process of yata breeding and how to do that. Um, that's what we're going to talk about today. So. Um, what I'm going to talk about today holds true for both yata and bears. Um, and so if you want to breed bears to get baby bears, you can do the same process. Um, and we're going to talk about that today. I've got some footage from previous days and um, the long process it's taken to get here. So before we uh, check the babies and get inside and see what they have, uh, we're going to talk about how to get them uh, because it can be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. It's a long process full of RNG. Uh, so enjoy the tutorial and then we'll take a look and see what's inside their bellies. Okay, so here we are over on uh, the Curio server where I've got some more Yata raising. Now, when you're raising Yata, um, mostly the majority of your work is just going to be feeding them when they're hungry um, and taking care of them when you're sick, just like a dead mother. I mean, you got to take care of these babies, otherwise they're not going to get horny or make babies. So. Uh, once you plant your yata, plant them. Once you place your yata and they grow up into adulthood, you'll see that some of them uh, become males and some of them become females. Now, uh, the chance of getting a male is quite small. I think it's something like four percent. Um, I got lucky here. I've got uh, four males on the side of my mansion here, and they're evenly spaced out, so it's a pretty good dispersion um, in terms of spread. So the male can reach uh, two or three spaces to the side uh, on all sides in a radius. So you want to make sure that the males are spaced out nicely, that they're not all clumped together, because uh, you're not going to get babies from a homosexual orgy. It's just not going to happen. Um, so what you need to do then is basically, uh, step one is just take care of them. Feed them uh, when they're hungry, um, and give them medicine when they're sick. You can get the livestock supplement from the vocation store. Um, the females don't really need anything else. All you have to do is feed them, take care of them, um, and keep them happy. You don't have to trim their fur. You can trim their fur if you want. The downy yata fur is worth quite a bit of money, but it's really not necessary. Uh, so after you do this, um, that's it for the day. Feed them, take care of them. Okay, so after you take care of them, uh, the next thing you want to do is kill them. I know it sounds cruel, uh, but you do have to slaughter some of the females. I'm sorry, ladies, but um, we don't need so many of you. We need some males in here uh, so that they can, you know, spread their, uh, I don't know, man juice everywhere and get you pregnant. So what we have to do is uh, make sure that we slaughter the females in uh, sort of strategic placement. Um, what you need to do is kill them off and then place a new baby down and then pray that he becomes a male. Uh, this is basically the system that um, that you have to use. So make sure that you're not killing them if they're, you know, in the corners of your farm because it's not really going to be a good idea to put a male in the corner. So as you can see here, I'm kind of starting uh, from the center here and going in a pattern that, uh, that makes sense. So if any males proc in this area, uh, then their disbursement in terms of, you know, who they can get pregnant is quite large uh, and can reach a larger percentage of the entire farm. So you just kill them one at a time um, and then let them grow back up. And if they're males, then congratulations. And if not, then you have to repeat the process. So this is probably the most time consuming part of this process. Um, breeding animals like this is actually really low time investment once you've got everything set up because you only have to feed and shear the males um, and you don't have to do anything else. So this part here when you have to kill 20 something yatas and then replace them uh, can be can take quite a bit of time 
uh, but it's going to be well worth it in the end once you get your farm set up. Okay, here we are back on Morpheus, and this is the last and final step. Uh, if you're lucky enough, when you log in for the day, you'll come in and you'll see, like this Yata here in the background, a jumping, happy, heart-shaped Yata. Um, with the heart above his head anyway. That means he's ready to mate, um, and that's what you're looking for. When he gets happy like this, uh, he's jumping because he's super happy, or maybe he's in pain because he's had a hard on all night and uh, you didn't let him breed. You'll have this option to encourage him to mate. Uh, so go ahead and do that. You'll give him some claps. Um, he'll get his stud on, and uh, he'll try to impregnate these women. So, um, female Yatha, sorry. Impregnate these female Yatha. Uh, once they do that, you'll see above their heads, they'll have hearts. They'll be jumping around because they're happy too. Everyone enjoys mating. I mean, who doesn't? Um, and uh, I'm lucky here. I have another one. Um, and they'll turn into what's called a blushing Yatha. Uh, female. Now this means that she's embarrassed that she just had sex, but we're not going to slut shame anyone because everyone enjoys a little hanky panky. And then um, you just wait. So basically, they'll put up, be put on their cooldown timer just like usual. And then when that's finished, we'll come back and see if any of them got pregnant. Okay, and then as the last step of the process, all you need to do then is come up to our big belly yatas and check and see what's inside. Now, uh, there are three types with yatas. Um, there are three types of babies. There's the regular striped yata. Uh, there's white and black. Now, black is going to be the uh, most expensive and the rarest of the three um, because it jumps the highest, I guess, or runs the fastest. Not really sure what the abilities do. Um, I've never got one before. Uh, actually, I got one once, but I didn't raise it up. Now with bears, uh, what happens is you get, you basically get a bear cub, uh, which is a small little baby, and then you grow that, and then once it grows, uh, there's one final round of RNG to decide uh, if it's a pet, a battle pet, which will fight for you, or a mount. Um, and if it's a mount, uh, you have to raise it into uh, different things, and we'll talk about that in a later episode, perhaps, if we get one of those. But today we've got Yata, so let's go ahead and see what we get. Um, we're praying for Black, uh, because Black is going to be the best one for us, so hopefully we can get a Black uh, Yata baby. If not, um, I'll take a white one too. I'm not racist. We'll see. Alright, so this one is a striped Yata calf. Now these are, uh, on Morpheus, these go for about 40 gold. Um, let's check and see if there are any on the auction house. Uh, there are a couple. So 48 gold. It's not bad, really. Um, it's better than, you know, Yata fur. Uh, but the black one, I think, over here might sell for something like 400 or 500 gold. It's a major boost uh, to your income if you're just breeding yata like normal for their fur. Here we go, moment of truth! Also a <laughs> striped yata. So as you can see, the striped yata babies um, are actually the most common uh, white and black. Let's see if we can get a black one. Right. Black yata. Nothing, right? The white one I think is Palomino. I can't pronounce that, I'm, I'm, I apologize. Also not on here. So uh, not many people on Morpheus are uh, are actually breeding Yata. So once you breed them then, uh, once you get their babies, you have a 12 hour cooldown just like normal uh, and just continue to go and raise your Yata as normal. All right. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. I hope that this was helpful in your Yata breeding um, if you are getting them, if you're trying to get babies, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd like to know how many people can actually get the white and black yata since um, I've only gotten it once in my lifetime and that was quite a while ago. Um, so thanks for watching again. Stay tuned for more videos like this. If we do end up getting bears, uh, baby bears, I'll make a video on that as well just to let you guys know. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy and I'll see you all next time. For now, Shinobi out.